The PM Award is the recognition for the companies that have successful history of DPM implementation and development. But the real award lies in the fact that throughout the history, total productive maintenance has evolved as company culture and an improvement methodology to create fortunes for many successful companies. Small companies sometimes doubt of achievements from the total productive maintenance because the results may not be immediate in the short period. Let us learn the benefits of total productive maintenance taking a perspective of a manufacturing industry. For this instance, I'll be taking the automobile industry as an example and this can be great example for the small companies to learn from. The automobile industry is particularly taken as an example in this case study because many developments in continuous improvements started from the automobile industry. For instance, the lean tools, 5Y, A3, value stream mapping, pool system, just in time, etc., were first pioneered by Toyota. Ford started the concept of division of labor and continuous production. Many of these lean improvement tools are used in conjunction with the total productive maintenance to achieve operational excellence. The results of a report of a case study by Morales Mendes and Rodriguez that was published in 2017 on TPM implementation in auto parts machine were very astonishing. According to the report, the implementation of total productive maintenance decreased the repair time by 30.2%. Similarly, overall equipment effectiveness was improved by 18.75%, including the equipment availability by 8.9%, efficiency by 8.9%, and overall quality by 4.2%. Now, overall equipment effectiveness is the ratio of the actual output of the equipment divided by the maximum output of the equipment under the best performance condition. Overall equipment effectiveness is equal to the multiplication of the three main bases for the main six big losses. Back to the report again. The report also showed that the average time between the failures was improved by 108%. That means there were longer gaps for the failures to occur. Similarly, a study was done by Ratneshwar Singh Ital regarding the implementation of total productive maintenance in a machine shop. With the study, it was obvious that overall equipment effectiveness was increased from 63% to 79%. The advantages of the total productive maintenance are the stories how total productive maintenance was successfully used by the industrial or manufacturing sector. Particularly in this example, the automobile manufacturing sector is explained in this lecture. We see here the eight pillars of TPM. These words were taken from five Japanese words Sari, Seton, Saiso, Shiketsu, and Shitsuke. 5S organizes the species, so work can be performed efficiently, effectively, and safely. This system focuses on putting everything where it belongs and keeping the workplace clean, which makes it easier for people to do their jobs without wasting time or risking injury. With the use of 5S in automobile industry, the following results were quite obvious. Organized workplace, leveled stores, improved visual communication, increase in the storage areas, fewer mistakes, and cleaner workplace. Similarly, the first pillar of the total productive maintenance is the autonomous maintenance. Autonomous maintenance means placing responsibility for routine maintenance such as cleaning, lubricating, inspection, etc. in the hands of operator. It is focused on the generation of uninterrupted and defect-free operation. With the use of autonomous maintenance, the automobile industry could have various benefits. The first benefit being, they could develop standardized procedures such as standard operating procedures and checklists. Similarly, the emergent issues were identified before they imposed problems or became failures. The sense of ownership of the machines and the knowledge of machines to the operators was increased. Similarly, the second pillar 
of the total productive maintenance is the plan maintenance. Plan or preventive maintenance refers to scheduling the maintenance task based on the predicted or measured failure rates. The automobile industry could reap off different benefits from this planned or preventive maintenance. The first benefit was it helped the maintenance department to be won before any big error occurred. And second, it decreased the unplanned step time and inventory. Similarly, the third pillar is quality maintenance. Quality maintenance is related to design, error detection, and prevention into the production process. It helped to form machine review parameters so that the defects in the products could be avoided. And similarly, it helped to form periodic verification parameters. The fourth benefit is the focus and continuous improvement. Focus improvements are the activity that minimizes the target loss with the manpower, loss due to recycling raw material, loss due to misoperation, loss due to faulty management decision, energy losses, etc. And these improvement activities are focused on a particular point in order to improve that sector. And we should also have a notion of continuous improvement. Kaizen is a Japanese term which means to change and put back together in a better way. In English definitions, it means continuous improvement. The sole motto of Kaizen is making a small and continuous improvement with employee empowerment. Similarly, another preventive improvement method that can also be used as a continuous improvement method by the automobile industry was a pokoyuki, which means mistake proofing. Mistake proofing is used so that any chances of future error are either detected or prevented. Continuous improvement methodology with Kaizen and Pokoyoki help to prevent the oil leakages in the machine. Similarly, the fifth pillar is training. The industry provided the training about how to maintain the quality in the products. Similarly, there was a visual inspection training. There was a training and measurement and calibration of machine. And the training helped the operators to develop skills to routinely maintain equipment and identify emerging problems. And the maintenance personnel learn techniques for proactive and preventive maintenance too. Similarly, the sixth pillar is early equipment maintenance. Early management or early equipment maintenance includes both the early production management and early equipment management. This technique helps the industry to be proactive so that any future chances of the error are located or identified or managed before any big problem occurs. The basic purpose is to make the production process easy and to make equipment easy to use quickly and economically viable. Similarly, the seventh pillar is office or administration total productive maintenance. The use of the office total productive maintenance helps to provide awareness to collect relevant data and solve problems relating to office and administrative functions. Similarly, there was a reduction in the required time to obtain data from the daily rejection of the quality department, which is described by the operators in their reports. And a new computer system proposal for the maintenance department was also produced. The last pillar is health and environment. After TPM introduction and training, additional fire extinguisher were set up and the employees were trained about the use of fire extinguisher in case of emergency. Employees were trained and they performed drills on what to do in case of emergencies. The automobile industry used all these tools of total productive maintenance to form the strong TPM culture in the entire plant. TPM or total productive maintenance is a holistic approach and involves all the members of the industry or the organization. When a descriptive study was carried out with 30 participants in Portugal with the help of questionnaires and interviews by Eve Jones et al. in 2009, the following psychological benefits or results were obtained. First of all, the relationships and the interactions between the staff were healthy and improved. The sense of belongingness in the organization and the family-like feeling increased. And the interest and positive attitude towards the regular works was also increased. These psychological benefits were not observed only in the manufacturing sector alone. These common benefits are observed in almost all manufacturing and service-based industry that uses the total productive maintenance. With all these studies, we can easily identify that TPM could be very beneficial to learn and implement in the organization. 
We learned through this case study that total productive maintenance helps to build a strong and improved psychological belongingness to the organization. Similarly, there is increase in the revenue of the company when the company culture and the systems are strong. Similarly, it increases the knowledge about the machine or equipment or the company process or system among the staff. There is a culture of mutual cooperation and working together as a team. And these all benefits help the company to move towards attaining the particular goal or total productive maintenance and management goal.